Hey everybody, what's going on? So I just wanted to show you a little bit of these um, posts I've seen here on X today. Uh, if you didn't know, I'm sure you all do, that um, Jagmeet Singh, of course, after pushing back on the budget and saying that Trudeau is a terrible leader, he is then going to support the budget and not vote against it in the upcoming votes, which means no election for Canada. Of course, that's very disappointing, but at the same time, it's kind of expected. So let's just have a listen here. Uh, to what Jagmeet has to say. To you, that few others do. You have the power to actually sway the vote. Or address that. Sure. I raise that directly with the Prime Minister, and I expect to see solutions. But you have something available to you that few others do. You have the power to actually sway the vote. Uh, the the Conservatives and the Bloc were going to vote against. If you added your party's votes to that, the budget would be defeated, the government would go down, and that would be in parallel to how you describe this government. You have said Justin Trudeau is a failed leader who is bad for Canada, and yet you're not willing to actually vote in that manner. You are keeping them in power despite your concerns, despite saying something like that. Yeah, you know, the good thing about Vassy is that she's actually a really, really good journalist. I, when you watch something like Global or CNN or in America or CTV, you're expecting nothing but propaganda nonsense. But she's, you know, actually pushes back against the people who are in control, which is nice to see from CTV. I, I'll, you know, I'll give them a little bit of credit there. And she's exactly right. You know, she, he keeps, uh, uh, Singh keeps saying that Trudeau's terrible and bad for Canada, but yet he's the one keeping him in office. And we all know why. He's a pension puppet. That's what that's what he's there for. He's not there for Canadians. He's not there for the middle class. He's there for his money. Let's just scroll down here a little bit. <laughs> Jagmeet Singh's hypocrisy. Justin Trudeau is a failed leader, which is exactly why I'm going to support him. Yeah, exactly. It's just it's it's a bunch of absolute nonsense. I mean, he just speaks out of both sides of his mouth. One day Trudeau's a terrible leader, the next day I'm gonna support him. Like what a coward. And you look at the polls, which I haven't checked recently, to be fair. I can check that right now. But, you know, it just goes to show you what an absolute coward this guy is and what a hypocrite he is. See if there's any change in the polls here. Mm, let's see. Okay, yeah, so it looks like the latest data was nine hours ago. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Jagmeet Singh in his NDP down three points to 15%. Conservatives plus nine, 43%. They've been hovering around the low to, to mid 40s for a, quite a, a while now. Uh, and then the Liberals, 25%. It's just, it's so funny to me how Jagmeet Singh is hoping that, you know, Canadians will. Fight for the middle class and vote for me. The more that he speaks, it seems, the more Canadians hate him. The more that he keeps Trudeau in power, it's no secret he's doing it for his pension. He obviously doesn't think Trudeau is a good a good leader, but he knows that if he votes, if he vote for, uh, has a vote of non confidence and he finishes third again, maybe he's ousted as the the NDP leader and he doesn't get his pension. They probably wouldn't do that to him anyway. That being said, why would he risk it? For the middle class? For the working Canadian? No, can't do that. It's all about his two, I think it's $2.4 million is the total of his pension. The guy who wants to uh, be the leader of the working class and make sure Canada's thriving, is, he also wants to tax people who make over $400,000, 80%, by the way. Yeah. And will we ever see track of where that money goes? Nope. They'll just say, oh, we, we, we fixed up roads and schools and put in hospitals. And then you hear from nurses like, I don't see any new equipment. Like, what's going on here? We didn't, like, hire a bunch of new people that we have to pay. Like, we didn't get payroll. So we didn't get anything except for the basic budget. The next thing you know, Jagmeet Singh's got a, a Lamborghini somewhere. Or maybe he's going to take a private jet to Tofino like our current leader. These socialist communist wannabes are not out here to make sure that everyone else has it good. They are there to make sure that we have as little as possible and that they have as much as possible. Our government has essentially become immoral, like an immoral form of capitalism, where they're just taking as much as they can get, ripping you off and not giving you anything in return. 
And then they keep saying the same things. Hey, we're here for you. We want to make sure that young generations have the same opportunities that, you know, their, their parents and that their grandparents had. Well, you've done a shit job for nine years, Trudeau. Obviously, Canadians are wanting a change. Usually, a liberal would go to more towards the NDP party. But because Jagmeet Singh is holding Canadians hostage, they're not doing it. They're going over to the Conservatives. Actually, a little bit over to the Green, too. Which, that's not surprising. Um, but, like, it's just look at this 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 blue bar it's almost twice the size of the the red bar and the yellow orange bar is getting smaller and smaller by the week it seems and that puts a smile on my face because that's what you get a lot of people who support the ndp wonder why others don't here's why jagmeet singh i i I believe when the when the budget first came out he said he didn't even really like it we need to you know change some things and then all of a sudden just before it's time to vote on it We've reviewed it more, and now we like it. Yeah. You got to say face. You can't go out there and say you're going to vote against it and vote for it. Of course you're going to say you're going to vote for it. Because you have to vote for it. For yourself. So think about that. If you're thinking about voting for the NDP, keep in mind, we could have an election right now. We could have had one a couple months ago. We could have one in the summer. It's his fault that we're not having one. And it's his fault that the carbon tax is increasing. It's his fault that this government isn't doing their job because instead of holding them accountable like we should and call an election, he's not because he's a coward, because he's a puppet pension. And he doesn't give a shit about anyone but himself. I bet he would take one of his own MPs and throw them right under the bus if he had to. I think we all know that. So just remember, when you go to vote in the next election, you want change. You really want what's for the middle class. I know the conservatives don't have you know the, the most perfect record, but holy shit, what the liberals and the NDP have done over the last nine years. I mean, they've ruined their reputation for a long time. No, Jagmeet Singh will never win a federal election. If the NDP actually wants a chance, they got to find someone who's actually good. I don't know who that would be, but they got to find someone because they're dead in the water right now. That's exactly where they deserve to be. So uh, that's going to be it for today's uh, video, guys. Thanks again so much for watching. I will definitely be back uh, shortly with another video. Uh, Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I know I keep asking. I know I keep bugging you guys about it, but it really does uh, help with the channel. Uh, I also wanted to mention that I also recently got monetized. So as soon as I figure out a time and, you know, get a couple topics uh, together, I'm going to be going live. And I'll be making an announcement on that shortly. So definitely keep your uh, your eyes open for that as well. Thanks again, guys, so much for watching. I really appreciate it as always. And definitely, as always, leave your opinions in the comment section. I always enjoy reading it. Uh, Thanks again for watching, guys, and I hope that you have a great day.